Hey Vanner Fanner family, in this video we're going to be checking out the Sun of O infrared burner. Woohoo! So I am currently at the park stealing power so I can run this cooktop and give you guys a review on it. So I was contacted a while ago to test out this cooktop, which I don't have the capability of powering with my limited battery. So I decided to come to the public park and see if any of the outlets near a parking space were working. And this was the closest one I could find. And I, I will try and put a picture of this crazy setup I have strung across to have power. I'm hoping nobody calls the police on me or the park authorities until I get this done at least. Right now I've got some potatoes, little baby potatoes boiling in the water and I'm hoping they get soft enough and we're just going to throw in some black beans and some diced tomatoes and green chilies. This is going to be a very quick, easy, simple lunch because again, I can't hang out here too long. This is illegal. Once these potatoes get boiled and soft, I will come back and show you what I put in to season them. So this cooktop, I will put all the information to it down below. I believe you pronounce it Sunavo, um, S-U-N-A-V-O. So um, I will put all the info down below because I don't have time to talk about all the specs of it on camera. So they will be down below. And I think the company gave me a coupon code. If so, I will put that down below with the link as well. I'm just trying to stick a fork in some of these potatoes. I don't want them mushy, but I want them soft enough to chew. So I'm just sticking a fork in several of them to see if the bigger pieces are soft enough for chewing. And it looks like maybe another two or three minutes and this should be done. So, okay, those potatoes are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain this water off of them. Um, so there's that. The cooktop is off, but of course it's still hot. So you're gonna hear that sizzle. Now we're gonna go ahead and season these potatoes I'm going to put the rest of this minced onion in there because I'm trying to get rid of that container. I have another container of minced onion. I'm going to put some Italian herb season in there. This is on a grinder, so I'm going to put quite a bit of that in there as too because I'm also trying to get rid of this. I have another Italian seasoning, and so I'm trying to get rid of as much of this as I possibly can <laughs> so I can start using the other one. I might not be able to get rid of it all in this cooking session. I'm also going to put some chopped chives in there. I think chives go well with potatoes. Um, I'm going to unscrew the top and dump quite a bit in there. And I'm going to put turmeric in there. You guys know I'm a fiend for turmeric because it does help my joints and it's got some good benefits to it. You'll have to look those up on your own. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this can in. I did drain the um, liquid out of this can. And this diced tomatoes, these are wet, so that's why I drained the liquid out of the um, beans because you don't want two wet things. I mean, it would be soupy. I'm not trying to make a soup. I'm trying to make something a little thicker than a soup. So the one thing I will say about this pan, and maybe it's because it's a lightweight pan, when the water was starting to boil, the whole pan was shaking. Uh, I don't know if that is the kind of cooktop this is, which is infrared, because I've never had this top do that to me in my, um, on my, um, you know, propane cooktop. So I've never had that experience with it. And it could be that this cooktop is, um, this pan is just lightweight because half of it is silicone. Well, most of it's silicone, only the bottom is metal. So it could be that. Uh, I will list the types of pans you can cook on down below. Again, with all the specs, they were on the box. You can pretty much cook on anything from cast iron to stainless steel. So you're pretty much covered. So I'm going to put the top on this and let it just honestly low, 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 like the minimum setting on this because those canned items, you know, they were room temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on like one and just let it warm up a little. The potatoes are hot, obviously, but the other stuff isn't. So I just want it to warm up and then we'll take a little test. Maybe I'll put it on two. 
then we'll take a little um little test taste and see how we did thus far i think it's going to taste just fine again this was a quick simple quick simple meal because of where i am right now and i'm trying to fly under the radar here <laughs> I do have some nutritional yeast. I'm going to sprinkle that on in the end and uh, before I uh, eat it. So I'll wait until it warms up and then I'll sprinkle some of that on. But again, here comes the rain. So I really want to get my cord off the ground because now the rain's coming back again. And the potatoes were just a small sack of potatoes that I'd gotten from Aldi a couple of days ago. And I've been meaning to eat more potato just to help fill me up some because you know I don't really eat meat at all. And I haven't had any fish in a while, so trying to eat some potatoes that fill me fill my belly up so I'll come back once this is all warmed up and we'll do a taste test okay all done we'll take a closer look so we've got um the small red potatoes and the small little white potatoes, the beans and the um, uh, tomatoes and chilies. And it's kind of like a nice thick stew almost. So I'm glad I did take the um, water out of the beans. All right, let's do a little taste test. Make sure I get one potato and then some of the other stuff. Let's taste it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. So the rain started up again, so I went and pulled the um, cord, the both cords. I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when it was plugged in on the screen now. But um, yeah, so I was able to get this done. I think I had myself plugged in there for about 20 minutes, maybe, maybe a little less than 20 somewhere around there so hopefully the people that are here at the park won't take my tag number down <laughs> mm. this is good so I think if I had enough power to run this this would be a great option for a cooktop in an RV or a van with enough power I only have a 1,000 watt inverter and small batteries, so this wouldn't work for me because it's 1,200 watts. But if you're in a real RV where you have ex excess amount of power in your rig, definitely look into getting one of these. <clears throat> it's very small. It's compact. It's very flat, so you can store it away when it's not in use. I do like that about it. The heating element heated up really quickly. No complaints from me about this. I am going to gift this, clean it off, box it back up, and I will be gifting it to Miss K and uh, Mr. P. They have an RV, a Class C RV, and they're still in their home, so she can use this as in her house for cooking if she wants as well. <clears throat> so I will be sending this to them because... I'm not going to get any use out of it. I will probably never have an inverter bigger than 1,000 watts, at least not right now. I don't see me having those kind of power needs anytime soon. So I'm going to gift it on to them, to someone who can use it, but I definitely do give it a thumbs up. If you want to get one, go for it. Mm-mm-mm. Way to go, son of O. Again, I'll put all the information for this down below, as well as a link and a coupon code if available. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah! I'll see you next time. Check out the journey from day one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Get some Vanner gear. And for exclusive content, check out Patreon. Thanks for watching.